Hey guys, Austin here. I'm gonna make a little farm stand today. Zoom out here a little bit. Just starting off with these skids here. Um, I got a bunch of reclaimed lumber that the previous owner left on this on this property. And it's pretty nice because I've been able to get a lot of use out of it. But all I've done so far is I cut some angles on these skids so they can easily slide but and then I squared it up leveled and squared it up quick it's hotter than heck today it's like 100 degrees so I tried to set up in the shade the best I could here as the day goes on this is going to be in the shade and the cut station will go into the into the sun but I might move this over here actually Anyways, I got a whole bunch of this rough saw, rough saw on uh, Burr Oak. The guy left here. He just stacked it here, and uh, but it's all good. I might, I'm gonna have to rip down some of them to square them up, but a lot of them are already lumber quality, or just mostly. And then I got a whole bunch of scrap here that I got. So. Um, Let's see what I can get together. I also have a whole heap load of pa pallets, so I'm gonna try to see what I can come up with for free stuff. And I'm just gonna do um, this is gonna be four foot by nine foot, um, so it's just gonna be a little self serve farm stand. I'm gonna put it out by the corner here. Um, so yeah, and then. This poor arch here, um, Sierra and I got married in front of this thing in 2014 and it got blown over by the wind and the top broke off. And But I think I'm going to actually um, put it back together and use it down at the farm stand and maybe um, stack a whole other section of produce under it. Get it you know, it'll be a whole other shelter to use. So. Um, I'm also going to get that sucker on some skids and it's going to be a whole other thing to use. So I'm going to have two little self-serve shelters down there to try to make a little bit of money on, on the normal day here. So um, I'll check in back with you. I'm going to try to shoot some time lapses and um, some progression shots here and we'll see how it goes. But All right, here's an update, guys. I got the floor built, and I stood up a couple of the walls. So I got all four posts up here. I just got to, everything's nice and level. Um, I put this floor together, and then I got the beams pretty well level before I started in square, perfectly square and pretty well level. And um, then when I got it all, got the deck all screwed together, I had these big three by five timbers. Um, I decided to run them flat because I had one that was a little shorter and it was actually like three eighths of an inch difference in thickness horizontally or on the long end end of the, the cut. So I did it this way. 
you know, spread the weight out a little bit better. And then also it was a little bit lower for customers to come in to step in was the reasoning on that. But got the deck um, screwed together and, you know, it's not perfect here, but it's these one inch, these one inch bur oak timbers that were just stacked over here, you know, and they aren't, um, they aren't cut to lumber size, you know, so I had to quick rip them down to the correct thickness here, but, um, yeah, I'm excited guys. It's going to be nine foot by four foot. Um, the floor, the floor is just a little bit bigger. Um, I just centered, I centered the nine foot on the floor there. So yeah, I'm going to be able to pull this around with my tractor which will be really nice. I'm gonna frame up uh, overhang here on the front side where you shop. I'm probably thinking three foot at least. And it'll slope down here pretty good. Just to protect, just to protect everything, I'm probably thinking it's gonna be just overhead height, maybe seven foot at the most at floor height. So that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, this is coming together great. And this is all from Reclaim Lumber, guys. Um, the previous owner, um, God bless him, Dan, he left a lot of lumber for me. A lot. I mean, I've built so much stuff, guys. I built um, an addition to the chicken coop, like an aviary for the chickens with the roof. Um, and I built workbenches inside. I built... I built cabinets inside. I built so much stuff. I had my own wood store here. I'm not kidding. and um, I'm using it up. So I'm going to sure be sad when it's gone. But I'm going to use it up. So um, this whole project will be made from just reclaimed lumber. So that's pretty amazing. You know, I have a lot of these posts look like they came from a swing set or something. I think the skids came from a swing set. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep going here. Wanted to give you a little update and um, check in with you in a bit. All right, a little update here. Got the back wall all up um, and supported in the middle with another post. Got that all nailed down and then I got this um, left wall all done. Kind of deciding what I'm gonna do on the top. I might leave some ventilation on the top. Just put a rafter. We'll see, but I use this old window. Got that all trimmed out and nailed in there and now I'm going to proceed to do the same I got another window do that and then I'm going to build the roof hoping it doesn't rain but it's looking like it might so but yeah this this old oak can't believe I got it here he just stacked it god knows how long it sat here I mean Sat out in the rain, the snow, all these years, and I just cut off all the, the crappy stuff, you know, but I might power wash this building and stain it, because, man, it would be pretty stained. But, like, you know, it had some, it had some areas like this that were rotten. Well, I just took my chisel in here, and I just chiseled it all out, you know down to good wood and now um this gives it a little character didn't matter for that piece so 
use what I got here. I'm trying to not spend any money on this structure. It's pretty unreal that I'm able to do it, but I really wanted a wood fire sauna and man, this is sure looking like a wood fire sauna to me, but I guess it's gonna be a farm stand. Gonna make some money, right? All right, I'll check back in here a little bit. All right, guys, that's it for today. I got Larry jacking with me. That's it for today here. I'm gonna take a, take a breather for the night. I really wanna keep going, but running out of daylight and we had a little rain, little rain delay there. Yeah, I'll frame up the roof tomorrow. Um, I'm not too worried about, I don't know why somebody took a saw and cut, cut this. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I'm not too worried about any of the weird gaps or anything. You know, it's just kind of try, trying to get everything out of the sun and it'll kind of help with ventilation. It should be good actually, so. Um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna do shelves. Um, well, I know I'm gonna do shelves, but I'm gonna do like a wrap. I think I'm gonna do some wraparound shelves, and then we'll probably only probably only step in here about halfway. Cause I want some big deep shelves. Cause I'm really just gonna pack this thing floor to ceiling with produce. So. Pretty excited how it's turning out here. This thing is gonna be heavy. I mean, it's like all oak. There's a few cedar boards on here, but. All oak, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna. I got a big steel pipe. I think I might um, drill a hole, clear through those runners. I got an eight foot pipe, so yeah, I might might do it that way. Or I'll just um, get some wire and make some loops, some tow loops. That might be a little cheaper and use the pipe for something else. I hate to cut it up. It's good and long. So anyways, pretty excited. I'm going to have a little overhang on both sides. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to, that's going to be the peak. And then I'm going to do an overhang. It's going to drop back down provide a bit more shelter from rain um, and, and give a little bit more shade too so probably have a little smaller overhang on this side but not much kind of want it to be almost symmetrical um, eaves yeah guys thanks for watching I'm gonna call it a night and we'll check back in tomorrow with you have a good night Well, it's the next day here, guys. Got some rain overnight. I haven't checked the gauge, not sure how much, but I'm gonna get started here. I'm gonna rip down um, the last handful of um, boards I have. I wish I had a better table saw. I just have a puny table saw, so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rip these down and start building the roof.
Well, I got the roof on. Um, that last little bit was a little tedious. Um, I had to... The last boards were really rotten. They were at the bottom. I don't know how long all this lumber was stacked outside for. Um, it's amazing how good and thick and hard this baroque is it's incredible i mean it's probably set out 20 years and you know just the smallest amount in is just perfect in most spots so um got the roof on pretty excited about it it's uh the end here i had to use some old two by twelves they had been old growth lumber. They were so freaking hard and thick and that sounds bad. Um, yeah, they were heavier than crap. They just were not like the lumber you buy today. God knows what they're used for all this uh, paint stuff. Pretty freaking badass. The roof looks cool, doesn't it? All those different tones. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, I never have built built a roof like this, but since I had these inch and a half timbers, I just went ahead and did it. Um, I am going to put a two by six laminated on that too. I should have done that to beginning at the beginning, but I thought, um, I underestimated just kind of how thick these babies are. So it's a shed. Nobody would probably ever be on the roof except me, but... Um, I came up with a really cool idea for the front on this. Um, I'm going to do a little trim here. I'm going to cap off those ends and then I'm going to trim out those top sections that are open. I wasn't going to trim those top sections out, but I decided I don't really want rain blowing in there. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do it. You know, this thing's not going to do much for rain. As you can see, you can kind of see through at some points, but um, it adds to the charm. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get this thing power washed. I don't have a power washer currently, but I need to rent one maybe and just give this a blast and then try to seal it. You know, it's gonna be, I'd like to keep it a while. And this is all solid oak. So, um, there's just a couple cedar boards, but not more than two or three. Um, this bugger is gonna last a while. So, I came up with a really cool idea for the front here. I got all these half inch by six inch, various width, I guess, but half inch stock. Um, Looks like some of that might be five eighths, but that'll be fine. Um, I'm gonna make a big old door out of that, almost like a wooden fence. Um, I think it's just over six foot, just about six and a half foot is what I'm working with, but that'll close most of this off. And then I'm gonna put a hinge up on top there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a hinge so then I can raise and lower the storefront. And then it'll also give me like six foot roof here for some more shade. So I'm not gonna shingle that roof. I think I'm just gonna leave it wood, um, but it will provide a whole bunch more shade. So that's the next step here. I'm gonna whip that up and trim a few of these things out. But other than that, I'm gonna be on to doing the roof and um, power washing it. So check in in a bit all right guys I had to skip ahead here a little bit with some of the work I'm up on the roof now um, I'm going to go ahead and put this tar paper up here. Got some synthetic. It's more like house wrap. 
I'm not gonna shingle this addition that I just put on here. You guys haven't seen this yet. I had a whole bunch of uh, half inch various width pine boards. Um, whole bunch of them as you can see. And they aren't like real great quality. There is one, looks like some kind of nicer wood couple of them in here but the rest are just like scrubby pine and then a couple fence boards so I just whipped up this um, little roof that'll give me a little bit of protection from rain and also mostly for shade um, and just a little bit more space on my stall here it also folds down as you can see I put some hinges up here and I think I'm gonna put two more just to be overkill um, and then when I get down here I'll give you a view of the bottom but I figured I might as well shoot a little preview up here. Um, as you can see, this is, at the end here, I used some old two by 12s, but um, this is all like inch and a half oak, solid oak. This is this roof is so ridiculously sturdy and it's just, just boards. So um, I did put a beam here and it's kind of right over the window. So I plan to put lanterns, some solar lanterns over the window so I didn't cut the I didn't cut the ends off. Figured that'd be kind of nice. So um, I'm gonna put the tar paper on here and we'll go ahead and show you a, a view from the bottom. All right, little update here. Here's a view from the bottom. I got stuff up there because I started to shingle it. Um, yeah, so I built this fold up front storefront. We'll close it at the end and you'll see it um, but it's on It's on hinges you can see them up here um, But I went ahead and built this Kind of stopper Deal and then um, This is just some lumber that I cut up out of that bur oak um, and then I had these extra, they almost look like seatbelt brackets. I'm not sure what they are. They were just in an old bucket of hardware that I found. I think it was my grandpa's or something kicking around. Um, so yeah, I screwed those on and then, um, I got this strap, this strap hooked up kind of as a safety because, um, normally you can just push this up without the strap and this thing will just fall down. Um, the support will fall out and then the whole thing will fall down. So I want to make it safe for customers when they come here. Um, I don't want somebody to accidentally lift it up and have it fall on the next customer that's standing in line or whatever. Um, I just want it to be secure for wind. Um, you know, people problems and whatever kind of potential problem I'm trying to think of so it doesn't happen. So, um, but yeah, this bugger is sweet because it's. It's like almost seven feet, the cover, so it doesn't go all the way to the ground, but um, it gives me a bunch of more, sh bunch of more shade here. Um, I also installed a beam. I had this old rustic cedar beam, um, kind of cleaning house for my lumber inventory. I want to remodel that barn and want to get stuff used up, so. Um, instead of cutting it to length, I just left it a little long. That way I can install, um, I can install a lantern, like a solar, solar lanterns there on both sides. Um, cause it's, it also hangs over the other side. So yeah, I put, that does support the roof. So I put in some scabs to hold that up and yeah. Just kind of caps it off here and looks nice. Um, I'm really pumped, guys. This is going to probably last, hopefully last me forever. So, hope to not be building another one. Solid oak. It should last. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it up on bricks in the winter and get it up off the ground. And During the season, I'll probably have it pretty close to the ground so people can get in and out of it. But... All right, well, let's go up top here and we'll um, check out the roof. 
I got a little bit of shingles done here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I kind of laid it out, jacked. I left a little sliver here at the end, which is dumb, but it's all right. It's just a shed. Try not to worry about it. I got some extra three tab shingles laying around, so yeah, we'll do a couple shingles here and I'll show you what that's all about. Yeah, I got. I actually need the cap off. Cap off this last one. Hold it with my foot. I'm just using scrap. And this is my mistake. If this was on a house, I'd have tore it off and started over, but it's not. And it's gonna be just fine like that. So um, just scabbing those on there. And then I got my hook knife and just cut this baby right off like it's nothing. So. Getting picky now. Yeah, we'll lay a few of these out here and nail a few down and then we'll be just about done here. I'll be wrap this video up and I'll do another video on the shelves. Um, I'm not going to get real picky about layout on this bugger. I didn't even get out of tape measure. Just a shed. With this three tab, it's super important to get it right though on a house. If you don't, it's gonna look terrible. Everybody will look at it. But for a shed, I'm not trying to waste any time, so. I'm just gonna lay it down. Call it a night. But it's kind of fun doing shingles when you're not doing it for a living. You know, if you're doing it for a living, it probably wouldn't be much fun at all. But, yeah, it wasn't very precise with some of these nails, guys. I'm not a roofer. You know, I can roof, but I'm not a roofer. But, it's useful to know how to do this stuff. You know, save you a lot of money. Our first house. Sierra moved into our first house and she didn't have any money and they wanted I think twelve thousand to I think they wanted twelve thousand to do the roof. Um some company. I just went ahead and did it and hired a few guys to help me and um we had the job done for simple as that. Forty five hundred bucks. So, let me think. 4,500 bucks or 12,000 bucks. Two days worth of work. So, yeah, it pays to learn how to do this stuff. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna climb down here, but I just have probably six courses left or something. Maybe less. I'm not gonna even put drip edge down here. Under normal house, you'd have drip edge and everything, but this is just, just timbers. So, but this will keep it dry. This will keep the rain off of it. So I actually have a rubber membrane to install too at the, at kind of this area in between the two roofs. And that way I won't get drippage right there I won't get any drippage right there at the deck at all if I do that. So here it is, guys. I will uh, check back in here one more time with you, and we'll be done for today.
Well, guys, I just got the shingles on. Didn't take me long. Took less than two bundles. Just this little area up here. So it worked really well. I don't need drip edge or anything. It will be fine. As is, I'm afraid. Could always add it, I suppose. I didn't really nail it right next to the edge, so. <clears throat> but yeah, it looks pretty slick without it, so. I'm not gonna add it. This will be great for selling produce, so. I'll give you one more walk through all the way around here. I got a bunch of cleanup to do, but. <clears throat> I'm happy with this final design that I came up with on the straps and the supports. Um, I think that's gonna be really easy to tear down easy to put up it's safe I don't foresee it falling down um, I am either gonna use um, I think I'm just gonna use T posts and, and drive them quite a ways down in the ground I left I left a little bit of extra room here um, originally I was gonna use mobile home anchors or something but I got T posts so I might just use those and run them right next to this um, deep and then drill a hole a couple holes and put a couple screws in the structure just to keep it anchored although i bet this thing weighs an ungodly amount i have no idea it's solid oak so probably i have no idea but yeah guys this might be one of the coolest projects i've done um i'm not kidding you i literally built this thing for free uh, we moved into this property in 2020 and the guy was a carpenter he saved all kinds of wood um, in this woodshed over here. So I use it for equipment and I got it cleaned out. But when I got it, he asked me if I would like to have all that or if he should haul it off to the dump. I said, please leave it. Um, and he left it. So I literally built all this minus one four by four that I had for my fire pit area that I had to steal and I ripped it in half and I took half here and I took half here. I wanted to shore up that ridge and I wanted to shore up this support beam here. Um, it was kind of not, not quite strong enough. I thought it was gonna be a lot lighter than what it was when they were all screwed together there, that roof. It's quite heavy, so. Um, free, guys. I can't believe it. it took me three days work um, 100 degrees out here so I had to work for it pretty good um, you know this roof won't keep water off but it'll definitely make some shade and it'll keep a little bit of rain off so just a tour of the inside um, it's four foot by nine foot I got a couple locks I'm gonna put um, put some latches on the side so when I'm trailering it or something it doesn't fly open this would be cool on trailer guys um, you know if there's anybody in Omaha Blair area that is interested in something like this in the winter maybe you know I kind of thought this would make an awesome smoke shack for your smokers grills you know, you wouldn't want to spend this kind of money on oak for something like this, but maybe you do. Maybe you got money. So, um, definitely going to be seeing me building more stuff like this in the future. I'm going to build a barn out here. I got, I'm scheming to get my hands on a sawmill and some lumber, some logs, and I'm going to, I'm going to build an old fashioned barn if I don't fall down first. That'll be the next project guys. And I'll definitely YouTube that. Um, ton of room in here you know I'm going to be putting shelves in you know the customers will be coming up here it'll be a walk in type deal but um, I kind of think I might build a ramp or maybe gravel or build you know something I'm not quite sure yet it's kind of good as is but um, it'd almost be better if there was no step at all for some people Anyways, I think it turned out pretty darn good, guys. I kind of want to build a cabin and live in it.
I had these old windows kicking around. They were gonna use them for some kind of project or art or something. This one worked out better than the other side. The reveal ended up being perfect on this one. This window was like lopsided, so on the inside the reveal is all jacked up, but on the outside it's centered, so it's just the window wasn't centered in the case, so. Here it is, guys. Reclaim lumber. All I had was a skill saw, sawzall, various nail guns. No table saw, none of that. Just started with rough cut lumber. Um, see my mess quick. Started with, here's my cut station for three days. All this was just rough cut bur oak. Mostly there's a few cedar boards. Here's a nice piece of lumber that I was able to get out of this. A couple of them are up here on the saw horses. Show you. Here's one here. Um, I basically cut this lumber. It was cut to thick thickness, as you can see the weatheredness here. But um, you can see the fresh oak. I cut this to length and width. Um, all the boards here you can see none of that was milled to width or length so here's all my scabs I'm going to be building a shed over here so I'm excited to get this all cleaned up and the heck out of here so it's the first thing you see when you come up so I'm excited to have the pile of lumber gone um, and then I, I'll have a place to park my equipment my tractors and my farming equipment so um i think we'll end the video here guys give you one more last look at the front but yeah i'm done i am gonna pressure wash this thing and then i'm gonna spray a clear coat on it um it'll be fun to see how it cleans up and you know what it looks like all cleaned up It's gonna be cool. After that, we'll do a video of dragging it down to the um, down to the mailbox. It's gonna be fun. I gotta go probably, I don't know, a few thousand foot. See if those skids hold up. This thing's tough as iron. I think it's gonna be fine. I put almost an entire case of nails in it, so I think, and bolts, lag bolts where I needed them, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Trying to grow the channel here. And no, I'm not lying, this was legitimately free. I had all this lumber kicking around. I was in a unique position, having bought a property with lumber, saved for who, kn who knows how long. So, really blessed to have it. Thank you, Dan, for hanging on to that stuff. Um, feel really blessed to be able to have the hands to be able to put it together and the brain to, to make it all happen and um, have the resources to do it all. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.